boys and girls, it's Miss Mary Beth and Miss Jerry coming to you again from St. Patrick's Atrium, hoping you're having a good after Christmas time. We are going to look today, especially at our prayer table. As you can see, it has changed from green to purple. And we are in purple now because we are going to prepare for another great feast, the great feast of Easter. If you remember, before Christmas, we also had a purple prayer table during Advent, and that's because we were preparing for the great feast of Christmas. So now then, let's look at our prayer table today and see what kind of things we have on them that we can think about as we get ready for Easter or our season of Lent. We have the Good Shepherd, and of light for the Good Shepherd's light in our life, we have a sign here that says the Good Shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. And that is exactly what Jesus did at Easter time. He laid down his life and then he rose from the dead. That's why this cross is so special. Some crosses you might see might have Jesus crucified on the cross, but this is the risen Jesus because we know Jesus died on the cross, but then he rose again. With that in mind, let's think about the season of Lent and how we can prepare for Jesus's rising at Easter. Just like before Christmas, Lent also is kind of a serious time. So some of the music that you would hear at mass during different times of the year would be a little more joyful than the more serious or solemn music or words that you might hear during Lent. You will not hear words very often like Alleluia or Gloria. These are words that are very joyful and lively. During Lent, we're taking some time to be a little quieter, a little more serious, and to really think about and pray what Jesus did for us, died on the cross and rose. We're gonna be sending some special boxes home for you to use during Lent. And one of the things that's going to be in the box is a paper like this, and it will say, Alleluia. And you can color this paper, and I encourage you to color it and make it very, very beautiful. You can even um, use different kinds of pens and markers to make special, special um, things happen to your picture. Once you have it colored, I want you to put it away somewhere carefully and you are not gonna take this out again until Easter. Since it is Lent, we will color our Alleluia's, but we will put them away to be quiet until we're ready to rejoice with Jesus on Easter. And then you can take your beautiful picture out and maybe even hang it in a window where the sun comes in and that'll really show the colors. So that will be your project today to make sure that you get your Alleluia's colored and tucked safely away until Easter day. Thank you, boys and girls. Hope you are having a good day and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.